Okay, we're here with Herman Hartzell, longtime Lawndale family. Here's the badge. And Herman, your uh, your dad came to Lawndale about what year? 1921. 21, and they lived in that house on Manzel, right? On Third Street it was at that time. Back before it changed names. Yes. And what did your dad work as? At at the particular time. Uh, he was a butcher in daytime and a private detective, a private uh, security person for L Luther High Lake Detective Agency in Beverly Hills. And you said, you said your dad was also a musician and he played... Uh, oh, that was uh, a couple years later, he was uh, with the... Uh, well, their, the group had two names. One was the uh, Hollywood Hillbillies. The other name that they used at that time was the Beverly Hillbillies. And they were sort of a contemporary of Roy Rogers' band and music? Uh, no, um, a more old-time tramp types. Not so much country swing music? Well, country, uh, but uh, not, not typical country. Mm. And your dad was also, you're holding the badge, your dad was one of the first volunteer firemen uh, yeah. in Lawndale. That was in the early 20s. Mm -hmm. how, how many years did that happen as him being a volunteer, do you think? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I actually don't remember him uh, at that time um, uh, because I was uh, one or two years Just very old. young. Mm -hmm. Did he ever talk to you anything about it? Uh, no. It's just something that he had the badge, he saved the badge from when he was a volunteer. Right. Mm -hmm. but, uh, no, no mention about any details of it. Mm -hmm. Now, did you go to any of the Lawndale schools? Oh, of course. It was, Up uh, until the, uh, through the third grade. <laughs> and when I was in the third grade, I moved to Englewood. Okay, so it was Lawndale Central School that you went yes. to? Yes. You remember any of the teachers there? Uh, not at the moment, no. <laughs> Such a long time ago. Uh, no, my memory is uh, developing faultiness. <laughs> well, the school was close to your house, it was just around the corner, really. Uh, yeah, it was a, uh, about a block and a half away. Uh -huh. Do you remember the other uh, old buildings around Lawndale, like Gilker's Candy Factory? Oh, and, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you ever go there and look in the inside the building? Or? Uh, well, in, inside of Gilker's Candy Factory, they one of their major uh, uh, products was what was called jawbreakers or uh, hard I can't candy. Remember, uh, but uh, uh, for for slot machines, when you get one or two of them for a penny, and uh, they were made uh, in what looked like a long row of cement mixers that just kept turning and turning and building, building up the hard walls. Did they give, ever give any of you kids uh, free samples? Uh, no, we, uh, nobody was around, so we simply filled our pockets, uh, <laughs> not having a sack. <clears throat> right, right. Do you remember any of the other old markets around? Or? Uh, no, I remember the post office. Mm -hmm. One time going into the post office and surprising myself uh, in being able to open our uh, uh, combination block uh, mail box uh, without knowing the combination. <laughs> So you remember Lawndale, though, is when it was open fields and still had a few small farms around? Oh, yeah. You remember people riding their horses around town? No. It was mostly still cars? Um, old cars, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you remember any of the old gas stations around? Mm -hmm. Not particularly. What about uh, Cook's Lumber that was across oh, the street? Oh, yes. There were two lumber yards. Uh, Cooks uh, was one of them. I, I think the other one was a 
slightly larger than Cripps, but I can't remember the name of it right now. Now, Herman, when when you were born, were you, were did you were you born where your folks were living in Lawndale? Uh, no, I was born in a maternity hospital in Inglewood on Freeman Avenue, mm -hmm. North, uh, West Freeman. And then after you were born, you're now in La Cienega. Okay. After you were born is when your family moved to Lawndale. Uh, yes. Okay. And that was around 1921, you said. Correct. Uh -huh. There wasn't too many people living in town at that time. Uh, I didn't count them. <laughs> Do you remember? But it was a nice little town. Uh -huh. uh, no, I enjoyed it. Uh huh. Do you ever talk to anybody else from the old days? Uh, not recently. Okay, well, hold up the badge one more time because that's a great artifact. That was your dad's fire department badge. Right when he was one of the first volunteer firemen in Lawndale. That's great.